Now let's look at how we calculate the mark to market value of a forward contract. So in example 1A, we have Karen Bay Capital that wants to hedge a long exposure to the British pounds by selling 10 million pounds forward against the US dollar using a 9 month forward contract. So the bid offer for the dollar to pound spot rate and the 9 month forward points are as follows. So we have the bid and the offer. So what is the applicable 9 month forward rate that Karen should enter into? So in this case, I want to sell pounds and pounds is my base currency so and when we are selling pounds we have to of course remember we are the end user so we always sell at the lower rate when we buy we buy at the higher rate so in this case if i'm selling pounds i will have to sell at the lower rate of course uh, and using the nine month points on the beat side so the applicable forward rate for dollar to pound here will be equals to 1.2856 plus 8 over 10,000. Remember to convert this into uh, decimal by dividing by 10,000. So we are going to get 1.2864. So in other words, if I hold this contract for 9 months, so at the end of 9 months, we'll be able to sell pounds, okay, we'll be able to sell GBP 10 million pounds. And then of course, in return, Okay, we are going to receive uh, an equivalent amount based on 1.2864. So that will be, uh, if you take 10 million, multiply by, if you multiply by 1.2864 here. So in dollar terms, okay, that will be US dollar, 12.864 million dollars. Okay, so that's how much we are going to receive. So there will be an outflow and there will be an inflow. Now let's look at the next example. So now in this case, let's say six months later, okay, six months has passed and Karen Bay wants to mark the forward position to market and the bid offer for the dollar to pound spot rate, the three month forward points and the three month LIBO are as follows. Okay, so we have the spot rate, we have the three month points, we have the three month LIBO for pound and for US dollar. So what's the value of this contract? So if, if you recall earlier, uh, when we entered into the forward contract, Okay, we were selling at the rate of 1.2864 US dollars for one pound. So let's draw the timeline again. We have nine months here. Okay, so initially we were going to receive, okay, based on 1.2864, or rather based on our earlier workings, we are going to receive 12.864 million dollars. Okay, so that means I'm going to receive US dollar 12.864 million. Now, so we are halfway down the road, we are at 6 months now, okay, 6 months later, I want to find the value of the contract here. So I need to close the contract, which means that I need to take an offsetting position. So previously we were selling pounds, so now to close the contract, I will have to buy pounds. And we are selling six, uh, selling the pound 9 months forward, up to nine, month 9. So from, from 6, so now that I'm at month 6, I have to close the contract. So I have to buy a pound forward for 3 months. Okay, so this is buy forward for 3 months. So remember when you buy pound and pound is the uh, base currency here, we have to buy at the higher price, which is 1.2635. And we'll use the forward points on the offer side. So in this case, the forward rate for dollar to pound that we can buy at will be equals to 1.2635 plus a negative 10 over 10,000. So that will be equals to 1.2625. Okay, so in other words, we'll be able to buy pounds. Okay, and then of course we have to sell uh, US dollars. So in this case, based on this rate, three months, three months later, what will happen is in three months later, we will buy 10 million pounds and then we'll have to sell an equivalent amount. So if I take uh, 10 million multiplied by uh, 1.2625, I will have to sell US dollar 12.625 million. Okay. Uh, so in this case, uh, there will be an outflow here. So just to com just to compile all the numbers. So in this transaction, I will uh, initially I will sell ten million pounds, and then I will uh, in a way receive or you can say buy, 
okay USD 12.864 million so these two parts here will offset one another so since it's the same cash flow but in opposite currencies but for these two cash flows in US dollar this will offset and we will have a residual so in this case I'm set I'm gonna uh, sell pound okay and I'm gonna buy 12.864 million so buy here means I'm gonna receive okay I'm gonna get uh, 12.864 million and then I have to sell which means I have to give away so that's negative USD 12.625 million so in this case in nine months time the net cash flow will be US dollar 0 0.239 million so this is a net cash flow okay in nine months time so this just replace this so here I have US dollar 0 0.239 million so I will need to discount this back three months back okay to find the value in six months time so since the cash flow is in US dollar so when I discount I will use the US dollar LIBOR rate so the value at this point will be USD 0 0.239 million divided by 1 plus 0 0.0124 and then we adjust for the number of months 3 over 12 so we'll get a PV of 238,261 dollars so it comes to come close to about that so there's a gain for the uh, fund here which is Karen Bay Capital now let's look at the reverse scenario where Karen Bay Capital wants to hedge a long exposure to the US dollars by selling 10 million USD forward against the pound using a nine month forward contract so again we have the same spot rate uh, and nine month points for dollar to pound so what's the applicable 9 month forward rate now that Karen should enter into? Now in this case, since I want to sell USD, okay, and US dollar is not the base currency, so I will try and relate it back to the base currency. So in other words, if I'm selling US dollar, it means that I'm going to buy pound. Okay, so if I need to buy pound, I will have to buy at the higher price. Okay, so we'll take the offer price and the, off and the points on the offer side. So the forward rate for USD to pound where we can buy pound and sell 10 million US dollar is 1.2861 plus 12 over 10,000 so that be equals 1.2873 in other words if I enter into this contract today uh, which means that uh, if I hold it for 9 months so in 9 months time I'll be able to sell sell 10 million US dollar so there's an outflow there and then I'm going to receive a certain amount so the amount that I'm going to receive here or buy, in other words, I'm going to buy pound or I'm going to receive pounds. Okay, that so that will take a uh, US dollar 10 million. Okay, and then we will divide by the forward rate, which is 1.2873. So in this case, I'm going to 7.768 million pounds. Okay, so that's how much we're going to receive uh, in terms of pounds. Now, let's move over to the next case. So let's say six months later okay our uh, Karen Bear now wants to mark the forward position to market and then we have the same rates okay the uh, we have the bit uh, the spot rate the three month points the LIBOR for pound and US dollar so now we need to close the contract so to close the contract we'll have to take the offsetting position of selling 10 million US dollars so initially we sold 10 million US dollars and then we bought pound so now to close the contract I will have to take an offsetting position which is to buy US dollar 10 million okay and then now I will have to sell pounds so if I'm going to sell pounds here and pounds is my base currency which, which means that I have to sell it at the lower rate so I'll take the bid price for both uh, the spot and forward so in this case uh, the applicable forward rate for dollar to pound here will be equals to 1.2612 plus negative 12.1 over 10,000 so that will give me 1.25999 okay so that's about 1.26 if you want to round it up so that's about 1.26 right uh, so in this case uh, it means that we are going to buy 10 million uh, 10 million US dollars and then we're going to sell this amount of pounds and how much is that so if I take the same 10 million US dollar that we're going to sell I'll divide by 1.26 so we are going to get 7.9365 million 
So in conclusion, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna uh, sell this amount of pounds. I'm gonna sell. Uh, seven point nine three six five million pounds, and I'm gonna buy ten million US dollars, on the reversal side. Okay, and then for the initial transaction that we discussed, uh, that we discussed earlier, so we're gonna uh sell ten million US dollars, and I'm gonna buy seven point seven six million, uh, seven point seven six eight million pounds. So I'm gonna buy. 7.768 million pounds and I'm gonna sell US dollar 10 million okay all this is done in nine months time when the contract expires so in this case uh, the do the dollar part will offset and then we have this portion here so I'm gonna buy so I'm gonna receive this amount so I'm gonna receive 7.6768 million and I'm gonna sell away 7.9365 million so that will give us negative 0.1685 million so now we have to discount it back to six months okay so i'll discount it back to six months so now the cash flow is in pounds so we're going to discount using the pound rate pound libel so the value in six months time will be negative 0.1685 million divide by one plus 0 0.0351 then we adjust it for three months so that gives us negative 0.167 million All right so that's our mark to market lost okay from the position of selling 10 million US dollars forward